Ooh. Still Ridge. Blood. Oh, content warning. That makes sense. That's nice. An astral traveler navigates the dreams and nightmares of the citizens of Still Ridge. Oh, what? Oh. I didn't, uh, I expected it to slow scroll like the last one did. A West Virginia mountain town with a sinister history. Press I for more info. And it opens up a Twitter page. <laughs> Since that's not the easiest thing to broadcast, I, uh, I think I'll stick with the amount of info I was given to begin with. Contributors. Cool. Thank you. Sure. Still Ridge. Now, how's this going to work? Is it going to open up a separate executable? Or... We're still on the, the demo disc, it looks like. I don't think we've quite entered the actual demo. Eee. <laughs> That's the one thing that'll instantly make me pull my legs up off the floor, is seeing a roach. I, ugh. It's the only bug that, like, really bothers me. You know, I'm, that's not true. Pretty much any bug will bother me if it's in my house. I mean, like, I'm not gonna freak out when I see, like, a spider on the wall, if it's, like, a little tiny jumping spider. But, especially roaches, because at least in Texas, they're fucking about this size. They're, they're huge... And way too fast, and they try and fly, but they're not very good at it. You're looking at the world record holder for Beast and the Beast on Sega Genesis. No, not Beauty. Don't correct yourself. Beast and the Beast was way more compelling. <laughs> Alright, so it does appear to have opened a separate executable. That means it's going to be slightly annoying to, to capture all of these. And I might consider uh, just doing browser capture, since they all appear to be full screen, though. Or not browser capture, um, monitor capture. Though that always frightens me. That, that always uh, unsettles me, having a, a live capture of my everything that's happening on my monitor. It's okay. I've already made the sacrifice. You know, streamers are talking about sacrificing like, oh, I had to sell my bed to continue my streaming career. These bitches haven't sacrificed anything until they've gotten rid of their uh, animated titty wallpaper. <laughs> I sacrificed it all, man. Alright, let me... <laughs> let me get a, a full-on display capture going here. And make sure to title it all caps DELETE. So I don't forget to delete it later. There you go. You get the full will pending experience. Minus the titty wallpapers. If I flash my desktop, it's not that big of a deal. I think I just have a current logon wallpaper at this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I also gave up my bed. Alright, uh, Still Ridge, demo build 1.1.2. I can dream or remember. Or awaken. Which is probably exit. They don't have a quirky name for, uh, <laughs> for configure. Honestly, the audio seems fine. I'll keep it at the native resolution of 720 by 400. That seems fine. Um, con continue. I assume remember is continue? Like a, a load game function? Yeah. Load game. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's dream. <laughs> what, is that not a... Is that resolution not to your liking? <laughs> Every night, the same dream. The details may be different, but the narrative is familiar. Endlessly, I wander through impossible terrain. The object of my desire is always in sight, but forever out of reach. Countless iterations dull my senses. In a nightmare of looping patterns, I consume, but always, I hunger. <laughs> no, I don't think 720 by 400 is a standard anywhere. Stop spoiling it, dude. Just let them pretend they're real ghosts for a little bit. Let them believe in a world that has real ghosts. Alright. Oh, it's one of these, huh? It's one of these click on things games. Alright. 
Let's, uh, ooh, my wallet. A leather wallet. Hover a pointer over top of screen. Right click. In oh. Click and drag to rotate items to reveal their secrets. What do you got? What do you got in here? Come on. Oh! <laughs> He's done it. A driver's license. Don't need this empty wallet anymore. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I guess. Left click on an item in the inventory. Oh! I don't know what I don't know what it wanted from me. But okay. Uh, it said to combine, so I think that's only relevant when I have more than one item in my inventory. Yeah, it is it is pretty slick. This dude moves like he knows where he's going. This is he's fully stanced up. What? Locked. It's too sturdy to break, but I can see the latch through the jam. Jam? Jam. Jam? <laughs> Jam. <laughs> Jam. <laughs> uh, Jam. Okay. That's one way of spelling it. I, I mean, if I can see the, oh, you, you think you do the old card through the door? Jam is correct? No. No. <laughs> Maybe in, like, certain parts of the world, but I don't know. I've never seen jam spelled with a B. That's that's wild, man. I think I can wedge this card into the jam. <laughs> Got it. It's like, even if jam without the B is spelled incorrectly... Oh, look at that. A true artiste. It's like so many people use that misspelling that you just have to... You have to accept that the real spelling has changed. Digital clock. No power. Is this a PT situation? This is very reminiscent of PT's architecture. Drawers. Uh, this is, this is very, very PT. Beer. Empty beer bottles. Influenza with beer. And Kappa Ale. A bit too snooty for a blue-collar town. I agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. Empty bottle of Mifepristone. Pills are scattled, scattled across the table. There's also a bottle of Hydrocodone. Practically brand new. Well, one of those was familiar. Isn't it just... Yeah, painkillers, okay. I used context for a little bit of help in that. A stuffed bear with a distended belly. Its eyes are sad. Uh, give him a driver's license and he'll be on his way. Telephone with a built-in message recorder. There's an old message saved. Yeah, I'll handle it later. If it really mattered, they'd call me twice, right? <laughs> Thank you for ordering from Bun in the Oven, Custom Crafts. We are a non-profit organization where all proceeds are donated for the benefit of fighting ovarian cancer. Every bundle of joy is a prize inside. Bun in the Oven, Custom Crafts. Okay. I understand. They're, they're telling a story here. I've noticed. Door. Dude, what thrilling commentary. Man just says what he interacts with every single time. Uh, I truly am a legend at this. An ashtray stuffed with cigarette butts. A fresh pack of my favorite brand. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Alright. Grody scissors. Surprisingly sharp. Is there a... I swear to God, you're a fucking cop if you own scissors that aren't grody. <laughs> like, like scissors just get grody. <laughs> is this is this just a me thing? Am I outing myself? But I, in fairness, like, it's not my fault the scissors are grody. Like, I don't know what the fuck my mom does with the scissors, but we cannot own a pair of clean scissors. A Rolodex. 
the lid is stuck shut. Uh, Google.com, what is a Rolodex? Is that one of those things that you look at pictures in? <laughs> that doesn't sound... No, that's, uh, ah, uh, I know what a Rolodex is. It's where you have phone numbers, isn't it? Right? You put phone numbers in it? My grandma had one. This is, like, knowledge that nobody needs to know anymore. I got a Rolodex in my, in my iOS device. Yeah, that's what I thought. Picture frame. An empty picture frame. Something is written on it. A happy marriage split apart. Each the other's demon. Unite the two to fill this hole and find the data they said I do. Oh, the date they said I do. <laughs> you know, date is, is another form of data, is it not? All right. Uh, unite the two to fill this hole and find the date they said I do. Sure. That seems like a puzzle. A post-it note. Ron Jenner morning show, 8 o'clock. Lies, lies, lies. <laughs> this is what you had to do before you had YouTube comments or, or Twitter or anything. You can't directly tell them that their show is full of lies. You just have to stick your own comments thread to your radio <laughs> and get mad. Get mad on a little piece of paper. Yo, what? That's that's incredible news. I'll have to uh, I'll have to talk to him about it afterwards. No power. The buttons don't seem to work. Cool. I I okay. What what is the control scheme for this? Oh my god. I have no idea what this wants from me, but no matter what direction I move my mouse in, it just fiddles. Okay. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, especially if it's, uh, you know, at, like, a, a church, <laughs> typically. They're, they're pretty, uh, pretty tightly knit about that kind of thing. Oh! My alarm! Time to wake up. Is this in the, is the door I can't open? It must be in here. Or, what? Oh, no, there was a, there was a digital clock earlier, that's right. A 12 to 24 hour clock. I can set the time. Uh, I assume this is where I input the answer to where or what date they got married on, but I don't know what date it was. The clock reset itself. It only accepts specific times. They weren't allowed to have anyone there either. Huh. I mean, I, I get restrictions and all that, but for a wedding, you'd think they would allow, like, <laughs> you know, direct family. It's kind of surprising. There's got to be some sort of information in here. A large overcoat. Nothing? Pockets are empty. Nothing. Okay. Damn, dude. Rip. You hate to see it. Okay, so <laughs> the puzzle can be solved. That's all the information I needed. Now that I know I can do something, there's really nothing I can do with the coat. Fucking cut it open. Oh, you know, I gotta cut open the teddy bear. That makes more sense. <laughs> as soon as I remembered that I had scissors, I was like, yeah. There's there's something that, like, directly alluded to the use of of a sharp object. I'm already on it. More pills? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Misa Prostal. Well, Misa thinks that you shouldn't have too many bottles of pills in your house. Especially not when you're putting them in a, a stuffed bear. Misa thinks you have a problem. Is it, does it say? Uh, I should I should look at it, probably. Misoprostol, for cervical ripening. <laughs> that's that's one way of putting it. Induction of labor and treatment of gastroduodenal damage induced by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. A lot of, lot of medical talk here. Anything about the scissors? Fabric scissors, sharp and heavy. A cigarette will help clear my head. 
<laughs> okay. Not exactly what I wanted when I analyzed it. You go, Omar. You fucking go, dude. There's something special about that radio. Oh, it's just a hint system. 8 o'clock morning show, huh? Maybe I can... Okay. That makes more sense than finding the date, now that I think about it. I just saw that he was angry, and I was like... I just have that filter in my brain that if I see someone angry posting, I put it in the ignore section. Hydrocodone, acetaminophen. <laughs> Potent painkillers. Very addictive. I've known people who died from overdose. Mixing with alcohol, they just stop breathing. Good advice. <laughs> For, for what not to do, I mean, of course. Of course. Okay, uh, what am I doing here? I already know, he just said it was, what, well, no, is it 8 a.m. or 8 p.m.? Uh, 8 o'clock, that's all it says, gotcha. 8 o'clock, I'll try my hardest. It said morning show, though, didn't it? So it's gotta be 8 a.m. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I can only go up? That is how clocks work. Listen up. Bad clocks. Ooh! <laughs> Owned. The time is set to 8 a.m. Crunchy. Yeah, it's not bad. It, uh, it fits with the rest of what's going on. You know, gives the character a little bit more charm. I mean, you know, <laughs> as charming as smoking is, I guess. It at least has real character to it. Are you telling me I should go back, or... Oh, I can't even continue. No, I could continue. But obviously I should, you know, take a listen. Stay a while. Oh my god. I don't... Don't know how this controls. There you go. I mean... It's finding something here. Do I just leave it? Is it gonna give me words? Maybe that's not the right channel. Oh! Now this is my jam. <laughs> Spelled with a B. <laughs> uh, okay. That's as far as it goes. No, what was that? <laughs> you know, you could you could write a bit. You could try and write a bit. It probably wouldn't be very funny, but you know, I keep trying to make this this peanut butter and jam sandwich, but it's always stuck shut. How am I supposed to get into it? You could try, is what I'm saying. All right, well, I have no idea what the radio wants for me because all the stations are just mumble rap. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> and it's PT. Okay. I, I expected as much. So what's different then? Uh, the medicine is just a cap? <laughs> oh, oh, no, the, the medicine is to the next of it. To the next of it. I didn't see it. There's also a bottle of hydrocodone. Well, th there was, but I already had it. That's fine. It is a demo. You think they'll let me in here now? No? Okay. I feel like I missed something that I was supposed to find on the radio station or something. They told me that's a bad idea. I guess it's my only other option, though. Unless I just, like, do the same song and dance with the radio again. <laughs> they don't want it. They don't want it. I kind of assumed that these would be empty anyways. They're just scattered on the ground. It's not exact- well, okay. I was gonna say it's not exactly my method of organization. Until I remembered that- Literally, like, a couple streams ago, I was talking about the fact that I, uh, I leave all my clothes in a pile in the corner of my room. So that always opens the door. <laughs> I 
And I assume that going for the door always triggers the radio. Or is it already triggered? I can't tell. It sounds like it's making static. You think it has something to do with this? A happy marriage split apart? Each the other's demon? No. Unite the two and fill this hole. Find the date they said I do. Unite the two to fill this hole. Like, I, I, I just... <laughs> Unite them! <laughs> the most powerful drug invented. You think I was supposed to... Yeah, okay. I was supposed to click on the channel. Or the, the speaker when I'm on a channel. Cool. What? This is a channel. Make sure it's absolutely still first. Huh? What's going on with this radio? Here I was thinking I was playing a haunted PS1 game. The real thing that's haunted is my radio. Oh, good morning! This is Ron Jenner with the 8 a.m. news. Tragedy strikes Stillridge, West Virginia. Static was pronounced dead in her home at 2 p.m. Saturday. The coroner records the cause of death as asphyxiation from an overdose of opioids. Local authorities have ruled the death as accidental and without foul play. Truly a tragedy from a beloved local school teacher. Static is survived by her husband, Static, who was admitted to Mason University Hospital at 6 p.m. for treatment of self-inflicted gun wound. This news comes a week after the discovery of a dismembered corpse buried in the Sunderland Woods, officially reopening an investigation into a series of axe-based serial killings. Can you believe this, Jesse? All the kids listening to true crime podcasts when the real beep is going down in the boondocks. Nah, keep playing that. That was the jam right there. You're right, Ron. Some real the hills have eyes shit out here. Better than that deliverance, Jesse. Any hillbilly comes after me saying squeal like a pig is gonna get size 13 up they ass. <laughs> they just keep going, dude. Lies, lies, lies. Alright. That is how radio stations be. So we got 2 p.m. and 6 p.m., I think. Let's, uh, let's give 2 p.m. a shot. What? One of those once a day clocks? I've been hearing things about great things. Nothing but good things about the once a day clock. You know, people have been always talking about the, the broken clock being right twice a day. No one ever talks about the clock that's right once a day. All right, uh, let's go for the, the classic. Uh, it would be 14 p.m. actually. Why do they even have AM and PM if it's a 24-hour clock? What? Wait, is that how 24-hour clocks work? Do they still tell you AM and PM? Like, regardless? That seems like a little bit of a redundancy, doesn't it? Oh! Knock, knock. Honey, I'm home. Nah, she's still kicking. Um, you need your misoprostol? Nah, you're just gonna keep crying. Understandable. Rough day, I get it. All right. Um, nah. Ooh, just walking away. That's the answer. Without an explicit jam, <laughs> uh, I I don't think there's a puzzle to be solved. <laughs> oh, Oh, she wants the toilet paper. It's the uh, the classic side quest in Majora's Mask. Yeah, I got your medicine. What's wrong? Sick. So sick. What are your symptoms? Broken heart. 
battered body. Two things will let me rest. One to dull the pain, one to silence the voice inside me. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can find. <laughs> um, well, I, I believe the, the implication is that I do need alcohol and... No, see, they're all empty, though. What do I... What do I... Like, I don't really think that Misa Prostel would dull the voices in her head. <laughs> like, I mean, mixing any two prescription drugs is probably a bad idea. I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh, thank you! The voice inside is finally silenced. Unless they mean, like, a literal voice inside. We both understand the value of our bodies. The abuse that comes. Blissful silence, searing pain. Alright, next, next on the list. Thank you! Something to numb the pain. Finally, dude. This is the bullet that kills me, but not the smoking gun. Thank you. I feel at peace. You are kind, traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Kindness is aiding a stranger even when it's inconvenient. Kindness is speaking out against injustice even when you're a victim. I'm a victim as much as you are. My fate was a choice, and there is power in that. Then why is this dream always the same? Chasing a cycle of guilt and suffering. Endless fucking repetition. Let's change the channel, man. What is your role, Traveler? Uh... <laughs> I could either be incredibly stoic or... A, uh, like a CSI detective. <laughs> I'm gonna take the humorous option. And here you are, reliving the same painful moments again and again. I hate nothing more than indecision. I'm not going to straddle the fence here. Which puts you in incredible danger. You're a fool. Or a masochist. Goodbye, traveler. Until we meet again. I wish this was the final goodbye. For you it is. For me? You are not the first tonight. You are not the last. So many people stopping through Still Ridge. Picture. All right, well, I, I assume that's uh, one of the two parts, then. Torn photo, right half. Any any secret? Oh, they probably have half of the wedding date. I, I God, I, I, the turning is a little bit jank. Yeah, there you go. 21, 12, and we don't know the year. All right. Uh, oh, forgot. I was gonna go change the time until I remembered it's uh, the classic once a day. You gonna you gonna let me through? Am I doing this? Is I? It, it was hard to tell if I was controlling that or not. Who's back here? Only time. <laughs> All right. And away she goes. All right, so it was 6 p.m. as the next one, right? That would be uh, 18, 18 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Definitely aping off of uh, a particular bit of inspiration here. Not that that's necessarily bad. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure what was happening there until I saw the man. The man of the hour. Alright, nothing new here. Gotta be something new. Nothing new here. You think the, the coats are stuffed? I should have checked that last time, but... I just kind of figured... There's a gun in the pocket. There you go. I knew it. 
I also would expect you to be able to like hold the mouse button to move, but <laughs> it only moves once. You have to keep spam clicking. I'm playing League. Although I think even League lets you hold now, doesn't it? I'm talking about League from like centuries ago. Maybe it always let you hold click. I don't fucking know. I don't play League. <laughs> Hello? Listen to me, you son of a bitch! I made you! <laughs> uh, alright. If it weren't for me, you'd still be in whatever hellhole city you crawled out of, getting fucked by a grand jury. Yeehaw. I'm sorry. We should discuss this like men. Sunderland Woods, usual spot. An hour. Alright. On the way. Classic duel. What? <laughs> he rigged the fight. It was a setup. Stop right there. Hands on your head. Keep him up. <laughs> I need pictures of Spider-Man on my desk by noon or you're fired. <laughs> I said stop, goddammit. Uh, if I had my mouse, I would draw my gun. Fastest hands in the West. But I, I'm pretty sure I have no method of interacting here. Yeah. Is this really what resisting looks like to you? And then you hit him with a roundhouse. <laughs> oh! Never expects the door. Never expects the door. Alright. Dude, in situations like this, like, why don't people just, like, fucking blast through the, the drywall, you know? Like, what's gonna stop it? You know he's right there. Just start blasting. <laughs> Couldn't be more true, unfortunately. It's too dark to see. Uh, kind of looks like the lights are on to me, but... Oh, real ghosts, real ghosts. Medicine cabinet? Really? This this looks like the perfect mirror slash medicine cabinet combo. Alright. Oh. Take a take a peek in here. Uh oh, gotta gotta look at the mirror for that one. Fair enough. It would be uh red rum, I believe. I believe it says red rum. Oh, look at it go! I told you roaches can fly! <laughs> what do I do in here? Lights off? Still red rum? It's too dark to see. Okay. Soup. Uh, I can't really think of anything that would make sense to use here. Cut it up. <laughs> Alright. Maybe with the lights on. <laughs> oh! Axe! I wonder if that was there when the lights were off and I was really that blind. Get him! <laughs> Anonymous meat. Uh, okay. Red rum. I get it. I understand. Hey, second half. Alright. So I can probably just finish it now. Oh, although... <laughs> although I, I should look at the date on the back. There you go. That would be... Uh, what was it? 21, 12... December 21st, 87? 87. Kind of hard to make out. Do I input that in like, the Rolodex or something? Lid is stuck shut. Uh... <laughs> it worked last time. <laughs> just shoot it open, dude. Really? Maybe it'll just open when I put it in the picture frame? Yeah, okay. A Rolodex with dated cards. Somehow, there are thousands of them. Should have seen my grandma's house. 
Uh, can I just type it? Thank you. It'll be 21. Nope, not numpad though. Numpad inaccessible. 21, 12, 19, 19, 87. A blank card. There has to be something useful in here. Hmm. Remove photo. <laughs> Excuse me. Checking again. What? There's no way they would make me put it in backwards. <laughs> 21, 12, 1987. <laughs> like, if they're gonna use the date first format, like the, the day first format, uh, you would expect that it would stay consistent. Oh, it's still gonna let me do it? That I don't think that's what the game wanted me to do. Uh, let me put the picture back in. Oh, did they really say they want months? Yeah, they did. Okay. Fair enough. I just assumed it would be the same format. Silly me. Today I married the love of my life. My new partner is a young buck from New York, eager to learn. And the help brought the sparkle back to this house. I'll let Ben stay as a live-in handyman. The neighbors... That's so nice of you. <laughs> Live-in handyman. Official title. <laughs> That's a silly thing to do, just to, like, slightly mix up the answer to the puzzle. The neighbors will talk, but fuck them! I'm doing the right thing. Few years and I'll be chief. King of the fucking castle. Alright. One out of... Oh, two out of two locks. Look at that. Get me out of here. Oh, dude, I fucking pressed one on my fucking... <laughs> okay. I continued it. Rip. <laughs> I was too distracted by the fact that I stopped my timer trying to input the, uh, the date. My all-important timer. Dude, what the fuck happened to me? Dude, what the fuck? I've been gone this whole time? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> okay. Considering I've been gone the whole time, I'm just gonna leave it for this game, but that's funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. What? I clicked on him with it. I was prepared. I was completely ready. Okay, you just had to let it... If I didn't press anything, it probably would have kept working then. Stance. Oh, shit, dude. He means business. Alright. I've, I've truly faced my nightmares. It's time for me to leave. Or examine the chain. Nope, it's time for me to leave. The nightmare is over. Demo, huh? That felt like a pretty contained experience, but, you know? PT was a demo as well. And, uh, and felt about equally as a complete experience. Still Ridge. Okay. Well, there's, uh, there's the first out of 25 demos. Yeah, no, I totally forgot we just moved here. Honey, I told you it was a bad idea to build on the clouds. Okay. Good night. Good morning. 
Ah, cup of Joe. <laughs> JB! Wakey, wakey, exit. What? You can't say question marks. I know you're JB. I don't think... I mean, I don't know what the implication is here. I think maybe... Maybe I'm like a fucking dream surfing detective. Who knows? Whoa, where am I? D's Diner. Best hub for grub in all of Still Ridge. I take it you're D? Uh, excuse me. Look at the name tag. John Boyd Harold, manager. Just call me JB. That's what everyone calls me. I run this place. Best rest stop this uh, uh, on Scenic 33. Don't know what that means. I guess 33 is the road name. <laughs> I actually made it to Still Ridge. Started drifting as soon as I hit Massa Nutton. Massa Nutton. <laughs> I know where I'm moving. I should say, you came stumbling in, ordered coffee and breakfast, then passed right out. Must have had a nightmare. You were thrashing something fierce. Been driving hard. <laughs> Been driving hard. Glad to hear it, friend. Name's Omar. Omar Fletcher. Happy to have you. It's always nice to have another brother in town. Feel me? If you have any questions, ask away. I know everything that comes and goes around these parts. Okay, I was uh, I was definitely expecting the demo to be over, but we're still here. Am I actually in Still Ridge? Come on, tell me the truth. Best little rest stop, thirty-three. <laughs> okay, ain't heard of Still Ridge before, and I've got family in Williamson. What goes on around here? Tourism? <laughs> Tourism in a location you've never heard of? This area is one of the more secretive parts of the Underground Railroad. Deep valleys, tree cover, and plenty of rivers to hide from dogs. I told you there were real ghosts in the stream, dude. Used to be Shawnee Ancestral Land. A lot of superstition around these parts. Really? What? What? Haints? And mountain lights got people turned around here. What? Ha what haints? Is this, is this some slang that I'm not cool enough to know about? You know how white folk be. First sign of goose pimples and they look to the sky like Jesus about to pick him up from football practice. I'm glad I'm not the only one confused about Haynes. <laughs> of course, when religion fails, guns do the talking. Yeehaw! Shawnee were long gone by the time this town was settled. But enough was left behind that the locals still hold their breath when passing a mound. What about you, Omar? What brings you here? I got a letter. Anonymous. Told me to come to Still Ridge and wait for them. But why would you follow? Like, how low do you have to be in your life to follow an anonymous letter telling you to come to a location you've never heard about? I know, it sounds like a scam. But the letter mentioned something only a few people in my life would know. People I haven't seen in years. Fair enough. Haint is an old southern word for a specific type of ghost or evil spirit from the Carolina coast. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I have never heard of that before. Am I being foolish? Does it matter if you learn something from the effort? Questions are easy. Finding the answer? That's the part that hurts. JB, you're so wise. Drink coffee. Can't let it get cold. <laughs> this is damn good coffee? Excuse me. Thank you. This diner here is my hobby, but coffee roaster is my profession. Subscriptions are big money these days, and everybody's chasing a good cup. I like a good meal, but I ain't a picky eater. In my Navy days, a tuna fish sandwich and a cup of joe were all I needed. I'm aware of mid-rats. How's the taste? Clean. City roast. Chocolate and almonds? You got a distinct palate. You ever tired of whatever you do, I could use a taste tester? What? <laughs> Let me retry that sentence there. You ever tired of whatever you do, I could use a taste tester. There you go. A few commas would help that one flow a little bit better. 
Huh? And my mom told me my boogie, my bougie, bougie. I don't think I've ever seen bougie spelled out like that. But as soon as I said boogie, I knew it was wrong. <laughs> my bougie taste wouldn't get me far. Sure enough. You thought I was having a nightmare? You was dead still at first. Thought not to bother you. But you was kicking and struggling. You seeing demons in there, Omar? Not demons, just people. What were you dreaming about? A hallway, endlessly looping. You ever play that game PT? Kinda like that. You feeling nostalgic? Sounds like my mama's house. Nah, I was born in 86. My dreams should be decorated in plaid with Jordans and jazz cups. <laughs> what about the people you see? They're like shadows. Almost like a, like a diner filled with just like silhouettes of people. Weird, right? I can make out the form, but it's always dark. A man, a woman, a chain giant with a whipped back. Maybe your wires are crossed. How do you mean? When I was a kid, there was a big thunderstorm. I was talking to my friend on the cordless. <laughs> on the cordless? <laughs> what what time frame are we in that you're still calling it a cordless? She was walking, or yeah, she was walking me through second quest in Zelda. For a minute, the audio cut out. Heard two girls having a conversation. One was crying, one was singing, Tom's Diner. You know? Song that sounds like I Dream of Genie. There's a woman on the outside looking inside. Does she see me? If I if I knew the reference, I might be able to to do a better job than that, but I know eavesdropping's wrong, but I couldn't help myself. I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me. And I didn't hang up. I didn't say nothing. I just listened. <laughs> this dialogue could have used an editor. To be fair, it is still a demo. What if dreams are like that? You fall asleep and Dream you gets lost in dreamland. A stranger at a party that no one can see, but you're having fun anyway. What if they can see you? What if they can see, but they can't make you go away? It is a very long demo. If all 25 of them are this long, I'm like, I'm definitely not going to finish them. You're either invited or you're trespassing. That's how it works in real life, right? I wonder. How many people would tolerate an uninvited guest instead of forcing them out? You know, fuck around and find out. Town history goes back to the War of 1812, Omar. You gotta be more specific. 1987, right here. In Stillridge? Yeah, but right here, like near this diner. Yeah. There was a story exactly like that. Serial killers stalked the area, chopped people up with an axe. Barely made lo local news. God, I can't talk anymore. Look up Stillridge in Wikipedia, and it's all red links. Do it. Figure it out. <laughs> it's a local legend now. Kids will dare each other to spend two minutes alone in Sunderland Woods. Two Mac gonna get you, they say. Two minute axe killer, my ass. The axe killer. What was that about? I was in middle school back then. All I know is the prime suspects were two high schoolers. Never caught him. Manhunt resulted in a lot of false arrests. Tampered evidence, forced testimony thrown out in court. Local was shot dead. Police thought he was a suspect, but nah, wrong place, wrong time. When I got that letter, I tried my damnedest to look up this place. All I could find was an unresolved mysteries post by a kid in Elkins from 2017. <laughs> no page for it on wiki. Unfortunate. They, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised if they tried, but Wikipedia is pretty strict about fake wiki entries, so it may have just been axed by moderation. Did that axe killer ever get caught? No news, no press release, what the fuck? Yeah, same MO, a copycat or coincidence. Nothing came from it. I doubt the suits in Washington even reached the foot of the damn mountains. If it was a copycat, it would have been local. You said it yourself, it barely made the news. Elkins ain't even an hour drive from here, yet they called it the Axe Killer, while you called it, what was it, Tumac? Who are you, true crime author? Journalists fed up with gawker listicles? 
Celebrity podcaster? I'm a therapist. I help people deal with grief and trauma. A dream therapist. And who are you here to help, Omar Fletcher? I don't know. I tell you that's weird, but you wouldn't be talking to me if you thought I was tripping. Well, let's drop the subject. It's hardly table talk. A lot of secrets in this town, all right, but like I said, questions are easy. The answers will get you killed. I don't exactly remember that being the last time you said that. <laughs> all right. Uh, JB. Affiliation unknown. Hitbox. Massive. That would be yours. One moment. <laughs> Smells good. What did I order again? My rotating special. This is burgoo. Venison mushrooms, carrots, potatoes, and wild herbs thickened with a little cornmeal. Sounds... Sounds like mush. Well, I'm sure as hell hungry. Oh, dude, barehanded. He's really going at it. <laughs> Brought back the nightmares. Well, delicious. Thanks. Food is a universal language. You can learn a lot from its ingredients, preparation, rituals, and flavor. A forest. There is a forest and something else. Someone else was there. I got you speaking in tongues. Seas are built with bricks, but culture is built with calories. The wealthy eat slim meals, while the, s <laughs> the slave lives off the trimmings. History of America right there. History of the world. Burgoo is a working man's meal. Communal, freshly hunted deer, veggies sourced from local farms and gardens. Everyone gives what they can and receives what they need. I, I agree. You know, I'm feeling like... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell my hesitation when I said slaves. <laughs> like, I'm very anxious about JB saying something that'll get me in trouble, so I'm trying to sight read a little bit ahead before I say it out loud. <laughs> but, uh, I, I would be surprised if this game wasn't made by a person of color. For ten bucks, of course. You gotta give it back. <laughs> Thanks for the meal. Let me pick up the bill. What the? Oh, it was real. That photo. Morning, JB. I'll have my usual. <gasps> the man of the hour. It's the same picture that uh, it was in the house. All right. A point-and-click supernatural adventure by Justin Brown. Very cool. Awaken. Dude, demo one. <laughs> demo one. All right, let me fix my screen region. <laughs> like, it's fine if my screen region was fucked up for one game, but uh, at least now that I've noticed it, I should make an effort to fix it, yeah? There you go. I'm back. Look at that. <laughs> it was not on purpose that I disappeared. It was, uh, it was complete accident. Okay. Well, game one, I mean, it definitely felt like there was something there. I'm not exactly the, uh, the right demo for, uh, for point-and-click adventures, but still... It was, uh, it was decently well done. Definitely a lot of inspiration from PT with the demo, but, like, you know, maybe that is the joke. Maybe they think it's cool to have the demo of their game be similar to the demo of a game that never came out. I, I think it's, you know, it's kind of funny. It works. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that the completed product could be interesting. From what they uh, they showed off there. All right, next on the list, Pathogen X. Just, just going clockwise here. 